What's going on everyone? I'm the OP Jellison, and today I'm going to be building an Appleton balance team for Sword and Shield OU. Then I'll be testing out the team on the Pokemon Showdown ladder. The moveset that I have right here is actually able to take on various physical attackers, particularly Cinderace. We can also take on Rotom Heat despite the very minimal spitaf investment because of thick fat, so that is really useful. I'm going with Body Press over Secondary Stab because I really want to be able to hit Ferrothorn, and whenever I add an offensive Pokemon, I'll make sure that Ferrothorn being out of the way can benefit that Pokemon. What I'm going to do is add Toxapex and Corviknight to the team, and I know that's a really fat core, but I think I kind of need it because they cover all of Appleton's weaknesses. They both resist Fairy, Toxapex resists Ice, and Corviknight resists Flying, so that's really good. Corviknight also resists Opposing Dragon Pokemon, so that's really helpful. I'll run Regenerator on this thing with Black Sludge, and we'll make it just the standard packs with Scald. Recover, Toxic Spikes, and Haze, so sorry if you don't like super fat stuff, but it's something that I wanted to try today with this Pokemon, so we'll see how it goes. I'm going to go ahead and run minus special attack with, well, minus attack actually, why would I ever do that? I don't have knockoff. And then on this Pokemon, we'll also go with a healing item, and then I'll go just U-turn, Brave Bird, Roost, and... Defog with mixed defenses on this thing, unlike the Appleton and the Toxapex. I like to run 76 defense and 180 speed def. And a plus defense nature with minus special attack. One thing that I've actually been seeing people do is run 30 IVs in speed to ensure that you get the slow U-turn. Somebody left a comment about that, so I'm going to do that today. And we'll move on from here. I definitely want... So... You'd think that with a fat core like this, I would have my hazard core done, but I don't, so that's kind of an issue. What hazard setter would benefit me right here? I kind of like the idea of adding either Pharaoh of my own, even though it would double up on grasses, or Hippo, because they both help out against Zara. For example, if they're like player of bulk up Zara, that could beat my Appleton, but that wouldn't beat a Hippowdon, because they likely wouldn't have Grass Knot on that set, so... I think Hippowdon is fine. We'll have a guaranteed Zara check either way because there's no way they would beat both my Hippo and my Appleton with the same set because they need bulk up to actually break Appleton, I believe, so that's really useful. Let's make this leftovers and I'll actually invest it to take on Excadrill because I don't have body press on the Corviknight. The set is max HP, 152 defense, 104 speed def. This is like the only Hippowdon I ever run, but it's really good. And then I'll go slack off. I say the only Hippowdon, but I sometimes like to run Cheese Choice Band ones with like Earthquake, Stone Edge, Fire Fang, Ice Fang. Slack off Earthquake, Stealth Rocks, and Toxic. Even though we had the T specs, I think. I mean, I could make this Whirlwind and then just phase things around to get poisoned, but I kind of like the immediate Toxic better, so we'll just go ahead and stick with that right here. And I think this is where I want to add st those offensive Pokemon I was talking about, so what can I do about that? I want some fun offensive Pokemon. What's something I really enjoy using? Hmm. I did mention that getting rid of Ferrothorn, or at least weakening it with body press, is really useful. And a few Pokemon that can take advantage of that are SD Bisharp or SD Weavile, both dark type attackers. I kind of like Weavile with heavy duty boots better just because of the speed tier, and that would definitely do better against opposing offensive teams, whereas. Bishop would kind of have to rely on Sucker Punch, and if they outplay that, that's no good for me, so... Yeah, we'll go with an SD Weavile right here. And I'll make it adamant, because we have, like, multiple Cinderace checks anyway. We have Hippowdon, Pex, and Appleton. I don't think I have to care about Cinderace at all with this team. So, I can afford to go adamant right here. We'll make it max speed, of course, and... I guess we'll put the 4 in HP, because we will have Heavy Duty Boots on the set. And, yeah, Knock Off. Icicle Crash. Ice Shard. One slot left, what do I want that Pokemon to be? I definitely want a special attacker. What Pokemon would threaten my team? Like, is there a really strong breaker that would do well against my fat core? I think the most notable ones are Opposing SD Weavile, which Pex might be able to take on, but I would probably have to rely on a Scald Burn and Kyurem. Those are the two. I think... I like Keldeo right here. It takes on Kyurem, it checks that. It does also help out against Cloyster because I can take any one hit from it and I don't, I don't have to rely on Pex against that either. Yeah, I think Heldeo covers a lot of weaknesses on the team, so let's go ahead and run Choice Specs. So no Scarfer on the team, but 
considering I'm just trying to wear their team down for a late game with Vival. I think the Specs Keldy will be better anyway. We'll go Surf, Hydro Pump, Double Water Stab. Fighting Stab will be Secret Sword, and I will put Icy Wind on the set with Max Special Attack, Max Speed, Timid Nature, and Foreign Spideff. So, I believe that will be the team. Let me just double check the abilities. They look fine. Let's go ahead and get a game. So I have a game right now. Looking at this, Kyurem is a really massive problem. I definitely want to lead Keldeo here because I could stay in against Toad, but I think I'll probably go like Corviknight. The point is, I don't want to give Kyurem a kill right away. If they lead Zara, I'll go Hippo, but yeah, I knew they were going to go for the Kyurem, so... Let's try to take advantage of the situation and just go for Secret Sword. I mean, there's Sylveon is so obvious, but... I don't think it's worth going for Hydro Pumps right out, right, like immediately right there. They're going to get in Sylveon, I think. The tricky thing about this matchup is at any point they can just double to Kyurem and put me in a really tough spot. I don't know if they would do it immediately. We'll make the, yeah, they're just going to do it right away. <laughs> Maybe I could have double secret sorted, but I don't know what to do. I think I go Pex initially to scout what it's clicking. Okay, they go for Ice Beam. That's actually really nice because they didn't freeze dry. I have regen, right? Okay. I think I go for T-Spikes, but I could also be a bit aggressive and double out on the Corviknight. I don't think that's worth it at all. Let's just go for the T-Spikes and I think right here I'll just fish for a burn. That's pretty safe. As they're actually going to taunt me. Okay, so that's fine. I just want to see if I can burn this right now. Unfortunately, that's not happening. I'll, I'll try one more time as the U-turn. They might go Toad here. I'm actually really surprised you would let Toad get poisoned, if I'm being honest, but... I mean, I'm not complaining about that. We'll go Corviknight just in case they wanted to go for Toxic initially. I don't want Appleton taking that, and... I think I can probably just Brave Bird here, if anything. They unfortunately get the burn right away, which isn't very great for me. So, we're just gonna have to deal with that, I guess. I really like my Keldeo, but I need a bit more damage on that Sylveon. Maybe I can try to get up my own rocks. Okay, we actually catch Corviknight coming in. I think Keldeo isn't a bad play, but I don't know if Hydro Pump is killing. The it looks like they're Fizz Def, though, so what if they're, like, just max HP? Could Specs Hydro Pump do it? Corviknight. Oh, you Defog. So that's really Spideff Corviknight. If they're just a Fizz Def one, Hydro Pump still might not even kill. That's really bad. Yeah, I wish I got that burn. I could just go like Weavile and SD right now. I think the best place to go Hippo and get up my own rocks. If they defog, the rocks aren't on my side, which I would take. I think they're just going to U-turn, maybe to cure him. Oh, I didn't even... Did I already see that? I think I already saw that. Yeah, that was dumb. <laughs> okay, well, that was my bad. I think I'll Earthquake again, though. Yeah, because they're going to U-turn, and I can Earthquake somebody here. As it's going to be the Toad, so I'll take damage on that. We do 27, and they're going to take Poison here. I could actually go for the KO if I want to. I think i do that. Like, I could go Appleton. I still don't think it's worth letting it get toxic at all. And they didn't burn my, to my Hippo right there, which is really good. Now, the problem is, yeah, this... <laughs> Um, I really need to figure out what to do about this, but I'm really surprised they didn't prioritize defogging the T-Spike away. They just let everybody get poisoned. Um, the problem is I can easily lose to Zara at this rate, so I have to be really careful with my Hippo. I think they're going to freeze dry this time. In fact, they have no reason not to freeze dry this time. Either way, I think Pex is the initial pay play as they go for the freeze dry. I think I'll just give this to them. There's not a whole lot I can really do in that situation. Get in Caldeo here and go right for... <sighs> if I surf into Sylveon, that's really good, but I have to Secret Sword. As they actually get in Corviknight, I don't know if that's a roll or not. It very well could be, which I will go for. Unfortunately, they are able to roost, so not really a whole lot I can do there. Um, they're definitely going for Taunt again, so this time I'll take the turn to get in my own Corviknight and... Ideally, if this goes well, I can get a slow U-turn here. It's not going to be a slow U-turn. Okay, in that case, we'll make the Caldeo play. As they actually body press, so do they not have Brave Bird? They don't. I'll click Surf. I mean, Caldeo is good, but if I can get rid of Corviknight, that's wonderful. And that's not taking two of these, yeah. There's no way that takes two of these, so now I click Secret Sword through their team. Out comes Kiram. I'll sack off Corviknight here. 
I'm actually curious about how much Adamant... No, the play is just Keldeo, right? We saw that I did what? Was I doing 39? I, I might have to be a bit aggressive with Keldeo and go for the Surf into Corviknight if I want to win this. Which I really don't want to do, but... If Weavile knockoff kills, I'll go for that here. Weavile against Curum. I don't think it does. Yeah, not at all. I have to go Keldeo. And... Do I be aggressive? No. I just go for Secret Sword. If I, if I lose Keldeo, it's over. Like, I'm pretty sure they go Corviknight, but I, I can't risk this. <laughs> They're getting the data on Appleton. I don't blame them. It's not a Pokemon you see very often. You know what's funny? Appleton might actually save me against the... They go Hard Conk. I definitely live Mach Punch. The question is, do I stay in to take it or not? Um... I think I do. Like, let me just make sure I live. Kong Helder against Keldeo. I really think I can win this, but... Oh, never mind. That does a lot. Okay, uh, well... If it's doing that much, I think I go Appleton here. Yeah, Mock Punch doesn't hurt, and, um... They can knock me out with Facade here, which is unfortunate. I think I keep Hippo just in case it saves me against that Zara later. It could be the play. If they're Grass, not Zara, I think they win, actually. Okay, do I keep Appleton for the Zero or do I keep Hippo? Assuming they have Grass Knot, I, I lose to that if Appleton goes down. If I go Hippo here, then I guess it comes down to what else Zara has, but yeah, we'll make the Hippo play. The question is, like, even if they go down to Poison right here and I go Hippo, who would I bring in immediately after? I guess it comes down to just the, the odds, right? Because if I go, like, Weavile on Kirim or Corviknight, that's wonderful. But if I if they bring out Zara, that's really bad. Okay, we'll go Hippo. As they actually poison jabbed right there, so that might save me this game. Now out comes the Kyurem. I have to sack either this or Appleton. And I was already trying to sack this, so this is definitely the sack right here. There's the freeze dry. I'm pretty sure that Keldeo's Secret Sword is the play here. It's either that or I go Weavile and knock off. That's also not bad. It does kill. It does kill every time, right? Uh, Weavile against Kyurem. I forgot the Calc. So it does always kill. The problem is they have a Fizz Def Corviknight just kind of chilling there, wanting to deal with me. I don't like that. So, hmm. If I go Weavile here and knock off, they go Corviknight, what would I do? I think the Weavile is the better play. I could totally SD right here. I think I'll knock off, though. Oh, wait, they're locked in, right? I can easily SD here. I don't think you would go hard. If they go hard Zara, you got me, but they're going Corviknight. I have no doubt in my mind they're going Corviknight. If you go Zara, then good play, but I don't think that's a play you make here. If you let Zara get knocked, you just straight up lose to Mechaldeo. They actually opt to leave it in. Surprised that would be the option, but I'll knock off there. I think they might have thrown... I can knock off here. Do a very nice amount. Yeah, I go Keldeo, and then it just comes down to whether my Appleton can 1v1 the Zara, which I think it does. So that's dead. They have to... They have to attack here. They have Life Orb Player F. I don't think I die. That's doing way too much. I have to Calc Apple Acid and see how much damage I need on this. Can Appleton beat the Zara? I gotta recover again. Can Apple Acid kill this turn? Yeah, it does. I just gotta not get crit right here. Okay, they didn't go for it. I'll be right back. So I have another game right now. We have another Kyurem to play around, and because they have that Pokemon, I'm once again in a situation where I have to lead Keldeo. Yeah, everybody leads Kyurem against my team. It's gonna probably get a kill if I don't do this. Now, their mistake is they basically gave me a free Secret Sword. They have a ghost type, but I'm not risking my Keldeo in this game. That would be so super silly. Like, they go Hatterene. I could have easily clicked the water move, but that's not worth it. And, I mean, I can go Corviknight initially. The other play is going... No, it's really just Corviknight. They have Nuzzle. Ideally, I can get a U-turn out here into, like, Keldeo again. 
It looks like they're either com no, if they were common, they would have shown lefties. Uh, please get the U-turn. Thank you. We'll make the Hippo play, I think. Hippo, Stealth, or Ox isn't bad. It would give Kyurem just a free switch in, though. I think the Caldeo play is better, and just click Surf. I am a bit worried about this being Scarf, though. Yeah, we're gonna scout for the Scarf. Actually, if they're switching out here because they aren't Scarf, who would they go? I think I already got it in. I'm just gonna come at to Surf, I think. Yeah, they go Manda Buzz. It takes that really well. Kind of unfortunate, I'm not gonna lie. We'll make the Hippo play here. Ah, they went for U-turn immediately. I thought for sure they would go for the Roost, so... I wanted to try to get up rocks. Yeah, here's the Kyurem. This is uh, going pretty downhill. Initially, we'll go Pex. Yeah, they go for Freeze-Dry, so Corviknight can take that. The problem is, I'm, like, because I'm paralyzed, it's just going to come down to a, whether I can break through or not. Because if I can, I can get back in Caldeo. Yeah, that's doing nothing. I don't think it's worth going for Roost, like... As much as I want to try to play it really defensively, I know if I do, then I'm just going to get hacked. So I tried to go for U-turn immediately, and even that didn't work out, which is really unfortunate. Do I call the Kyurem double? No, I go Hippo. They crit an overheat, so I think I'm in range of the next one now. Yeah, 83 would do around 56, and that's definitely killing me here. We'll make the Appleton play, but that's that's pretty sad. They go for overheat again. That That's really unfortunate right there. Um, they can go Hatterene here. My best play is Apple Acid. Yeah, I do 19. They're probably going to like try to nuzzle or something. Either way, I think I go Corviknight and use it to U-turn. They go for Draining Kiss. Okay. I really don't know what this is. Like, is it AV Draining Kiss? I really need to start getting my U-turns off, by the way. Like, had I got... Okay, if I U-turn right here, I actually get a kill with Keldeo, I think. Or they have to take heavy damage with Kyurem. But I have Manda Buzz low, so that's why this is so important. That's why I was kind of upset about it last time, because they don't have good Surf counters. Like, even AV Hatterene is not going to appreciate these Surfs, if that's what that set is. They go hard to Rune Regis. I don't know why. It's dead. So now they go Kyurem, right? I think I just sacked the Pex off. The Pex isn't doing much for me here. Yeah, I, I suck the Pex every time. Goes right for freeze dry. I think this is a good play because they're likely locked into that, and I'll just go right for knockoff. Hard Terrakion, we'll see what this is. It was Life Orb, okay, cool set. My best option here is to sack Hippo and get go for a speed tie, I think. Uh I mean I could also go Appleton. If they SD, I would have to go for the speed tie, though. Let me just make sure that I don't actually kill this, because I am Adam and Weavile. Like, Terrakion is kind of bulky. Yeah, I'm doing nothing. Never mind. Uh, it's funny. Had I just SD'd, I could have probably knocked this out. But, yeah, we'll suck the hippo here. And I think Apple tons of the play. I don't think it's worth bothering with the other thing. Let me just make sure that it, it'll live. But I just want to be completely sure here. Yeah, it does. I don't think, like, if I went Caldeo right here and I risked the speed tie, I would basically be putting the game on that, which I don't like. Like, I think I can easily win with SD Weavile against these last few mods. I just have to find the opportunity to SD safely. So we'll make the Appleton play. I think it's safer. And... We'll go right for Apple Acid, as they gave me the Terrakion. Okay, really puzzled about that, but I'll take it. So yeah, if they lock... Freeze dry with Kyurem here. I think Weavile has it. So they're gonna make the Rotom play. I don't actually think you knock me out. I know I'm calking a lot, but I want to make sure that I'm getting these scenarios correct. Rotom, Heat. Yeah, I mean, even Max. Y you don't do anything here. Are you gonna Nasty Plot? You're gonna Volt Switch. I don't think that gets you much, dude. Hatterene comes in. We'll make the Corviknight play. I don't really know what this is trying to do, but it's clear that they want to recover it. That's something I've noticed. A uh, good double, but I still have the Appleton. I actually am trying to bait them into freeze drying. That's my goal here. Has this revealed its item? I don't actually know. But yeah, I'm just making my safe pivots. Okay, this is perfect. 
I still keep this though, and I sack off the the Corviknight, not this. Yep, there's the freeze dry. They should switch out here. They should recognize that SD Weavile is gonna win if they don't. Are they actually Scarf Rotom Heat? That's the thing. I mean, I'm gonna go for it here. Like, I don't think I can delay this anymore. If there's Scarf Rotom Heat, I think they have it. I, I really wish I could get a Rock Sub, but they crit my Hippo, so I wasn't able to find out. Um, I have to hit. Actually, Ice Shard probably kills, right? Um, Mandibuzz. Weavile. Yeah, Ice Shard can do it. Okay. If they are Scarf Rotom Heat, they have it, I think. Actually, yeah, they do. They definitely win if they're Scarf. Which they, they weren't, so yeah. I'll be able to win this one too. I'll be right back. So we're playing against a very offensive team right now. Kaldio is very useful because it can take on the Cloyster. However, if I do get flinched, I'm probably going to just lose to that Pokemon. I think the best lead right now is... Assuming they lead Grimmsnarl, I kind of want to go Hippo to Earthquake it right away. It could give them Weezing. I do have a T-Spec Absorber this game. Yeah, we'll go Hippo. Yeah, they go Grimmsnarl. It's obviously going to try to taunt me here first, so... We'll go right for the Earthquake. Do a really solid chunk of damage there. In fact, I'll just Earthquake again. As they opt to a play rough. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go Corviknight, and... We're going to U-turn. They're going to get up one screen. I don't know which one. Okay, or they just take the T-Wave. I don't know what they were doing with that lead scenario right there. They clearly didn't have screens, I guess. Taunt player off Thunder Wave? Like, what was their last move? Spirit Break? I mean, not Spirit Break. Darkest Lariat, maybe? I think I go... Weavile isn't bad. It does kind of give Zara momentum, and if they have Grass Knot, that'll be really tough for Hippo. I do have Appleton, though. Yeah, I like Weavile. If it gives them Zara, then at least it takes sand damage, which would be kind of useful. But, yeah, I'll go Appleton first. I don't think it's worth messing around with Hippo when that can actually be useful against Haxorus. Whereas, Appleton doesn't really wall anything here besides that Zara, so what's the point? So there's the Zara. Appleton's the best play. They go for Power Up Punch, okay. Odd attack. I'll go for Apple Acid. They unfortunately miss their player off there, and it looks like I might even kill with this next one due to their life orb recoil. Yeah, so that's excellent. Now they might go Lucha here. No, they want to go Weezing. I don't know what Weezing's trying to do. Like, it could just knock me out, but Appleton does nothing against these last few Pokemon. My best play is just to try to get a lead sheet off. Ooh, cool tech. They're going for Lucha now. I have Ice Shard, so that's something I can try to utilize here. I think the best initial play is Pex. It'll take the plus two hit, I think. I mean, the alternative is what? Like, body press for no damage at all? I think I go either Hippo or Pex. And by either Hippo or Pex, I mean Hippo. Nah, Pex is better. They go for the, the bulk up. Okay, that's actually really scary. I'm gonna haze everything away. That did nothing. <laughs> okay, now I can actually try to sculpt this because of their... Oh, they have Encore. What is this set? Like, what is this team? I'm so confused. Okay, I guess we'll go Hippo and try to Toxic it. They're definitely Roost on last slot, so I should be able to... miss my Toxic. That's lovely. Yeah, I could lose to uh, Haxorus now because of that. Okay, we'll just sack the Ableton and go Pex and Haze again. Don't crit, thank you. I can Scald here. I don't even care about that, dude. Just, like, take the kill if you want it. I think the best play here is to just go for the Haze as they're going to Acro. They might go Cloyster now. They also might go Haxorus. I mean, <laughs> obviously, they're going to get it to one of them. I don't know where I was going with that. Yeah, I have to go Keldeo, and they, they didn't go for the setup. I think I win. Are you Sash? You are Sash. I have Ice Shard. And then I have Icicle Crash after. I think I'm fine. Yep, I go out into this Ice Shard. I actually think Knock Off might be the better play against Haxorus. I mean, they can't beat my Weavile here. That's the thing. I think I'm going to knock off the Haxorus. Because knockoff plus Ice Shard should kill it, and 
They're obviously gonna try to DD because they need the boosts. Oh, did I crit them? I don't think it mattered. I should have been fine. I'll be right back. So I have another game right here. We have another hyper offense team. I cut a game out, by the way, because I ended up running into Corviknight, Clefable, Toxapex, and the game went up to like turn 250, and I just offered a draw and he accepted. Figured that wasn't really worth the video time. Let's go ahead and try to win this one. Weavile looks amazing. I definitely want to try to SD with it. Keldeo is vital against the Cloyster. Appleton can actually beat Gyarados, but I need to find out whether it has bounce or not. I think I lead off with Hippo. Yeah, this is great. I can just go for Earthquake. They're just gonna taunt, right? That's what everybody does with Grim Snarl against a Stealth Rocker, so... We'll try to catch that here. They might go right for Reflect, but... Given that they don't have Hazard Control, unless it's Rapid Spin Cloyster, yeah, they should go for Taunt. This guy's Grim Snarl is really bulky, okay. He's probably like max HP or something. We'll go Corviknight, and I'll go right for the U-turn. They probably taunt again. Oh, he has Thunder Wave. I do get my U-turn off, though. I think Keldeo isn't bad here. I'm just a bit worried about Gara. But yeah, we'll go Keldeo, and what I'll do right now is go right for... I have to click Secret Sword. I don't mind taking a Thunder Wave. They actually missed it, which is unfortunate. The thing is, like, I beat Bisharp anyway, as long as I don't get hacked, which is why I was okay with that. But it is a bit unfortunate, I'm not gonna lie. Like, it makes it harder for them with the hacks race, but... they yeah, will go Pex here and haze that away. No, thank you. Let's waste these screen turns. They go for power up and do, like, no damage at all. I'm gonna recover up here. As they go Haxorus. They actually have Taunt, which is interesting. I think I just go Corviknight and Waldus. Like, I don't think it's beating me. <laughs> they need to get very lucky here with close combat and hope I get full parried to win. They go for Taunt with this as well. Yeah, this guy's not gonna win at this rate. Outrage, let's take the kill with Ice Shard. I don't think they're Yachi Berry. Okay, so I knock out the Haxorus and out comes Cloyster. This is why I have Keldeo still alive, so... Let's hope that Keldeo can beat this. They didn't get the flinch, okay, so I'm able to knock that out. I think we just beat this town too, like, the one thing they could win with is, yeah, this. Oh jeez, I did so much. Okay, that's really good for me. And Pex should take any one hit. Just sack this off and go pack Toxapex and Haze, like, there's no way I die to even plus six return here, I don't think so. I'm max Fizz def Pax, like, this thing is stupid. That if they don't have to return, then like if they're just drain punch player F, then I'm definitely fine. And if they have like random substitute here, that won't stop me. They have facade. Anyway, let's go for recover. Bisharp. I go hard hippo on Bisharp. And the play is earthquake immediately. They should go for the crit here and try to win off that, but I don't know if they will. They actually did, okay. Well, I'll sack the guess and go Weavile to Ice Shard it. Blitz knock that out. They're gonna go Gara here. No, they're gonna go Slurp up first. I guess I'll just Icicle Crash it. Like, I don't think I need to switch out, considering I definitely beat the Gara 1v1 with what I have left. I'll be right back. So I have the next game right now. My opponent has a Zera, which is really problematic, however... Once again, I can try to utilize Hippo and Appleton to beat that. A really big threat is Salazzle, actually. Salazzle's gonna be a problem, especially if it's timid, because that does outspeed my Weavile. I also want to find out whether they're unaware Clef. My best Pokemon right here is Keldeo, but I need to predict between Vaporeon and Clef coming in every time. We'll go Hippo, as they opt for Mew. I can Toxic this, they might have Taunt. In fact, I think they should have Taunt, so I'm gonna go for Earthquake. Yeah, and try to wear it down right there. This is a bit of a risky play, but I'm gonna go... No, that's not worth it at all. They could have Willow this turn, and that's not something I'm gonna risk here. I will risk an offensive Pokemon, though. <laughs> okay, well, I should have gone Weavile. That was my bad. I didn't think they would just Psychic right off the bat. I thought they would go for, like, Rocks or something, so I wanted to try to get a kill. Anyway, it is what it is, right? I, I made the risk, and what can I really do at this point? Let's just try to win. Like, I could sit here and call their play bad, but it worked for them, right? I don't want to really complain. 
Let's go, Appleton. Grass knot. So they really I hope that went hippo. And yeah, I just go for lead seed. They should go Salazzle, I think. I guess they could go Clef, but they go Salazzle. The problem is this just toxics everything, and I don't like that. <laughs> I think I take the turn to get up rocks here. Yeah, they go for the the toxic. That's obviously expected. We'll go for the rocks and try to go from there. Yeah, I, I really regret how I played the the other thing, my my Caldeo, but what can I do, right? Psychic immediately though. I mean they got me, what can I say? I'll go for Toxic and try to beat this. I have boots, so that'll help me out. We'll go Corbinite here. I think they might have Toxic as well. They actually go for Yawn. Yawn, Stealth Rox, Earthquake, Slack Off, okay. So if that's the set, then I'll go Appleton and start spamming Apple Acid here. Out comes Salazzle. I hate this thing. I'll go Hippo. Quick slack off. They're just gonna sub protect stall me, I think. Wait, is it not Black Sludge? Okay, this isn't unaware. This is actually looking really good. I think my my Weavel can do it if I can get more damage on the Salazzle. Here, what I'll do is go Corvenite first. They go for Moonblast. That's fine. The drop shouldn't matter. I'll go for. Do I scout T Wave? No, the play is Brave Bird. Wait, what are they doing? They just gave me, like, the Salazzle. They're, they're gonna lose to Weavile. Yeah, all I need is damage on the, the Zera, which I can easily get using my Appleton and Rocks, so... I think they threw. Despite that really nice turn 1 for them, or turn 2, whatever I... Turn I threw out the Keldeo. Yeah, I go out into the Apple here. They go for knockoff, but... They're really weak at this point. They probably are in range of plus 2 Ice Shard. We'll go for Apple Acid as they're going to sack off the Hippo, it looks like. They shouldn't have much for me here. Yeah, they're going to DC. I don't think they can beat my Weavile anymore. Because they decided to sack Salazzle for no reason. Now, if they were modest rather than timid, I, they didn't really do much anyway. But yeah, don't make a play like what I did turn 2. That was really careless. I, I really was so desperate for a kill with either one of my offensive Pokemon that I, I risked something really unnecessarily. Looking back, what play should I have made there? What did I have in? I had Hippo when they went for Taunt, right? The play was Corviknight first, and U-turn out. Get the slow U-turn. That would have been what I should have done. So yeah, that's just something to look back on. Work through that scenario. But yeah, we'll wait until this guy officially loses. If he comes back, we'll play him. But he can't win from this position. I'll actually run it in the calc right now. Zara dies to plus two, right? Um, Weavile against Zara. Yeah, plus two Ice Shard does over half, so that would be my game. I'll be right back. So I have another game right now. My opponent has some Aurora Veil and Double Ghost, which is actually really scary. My Ghost Resist is a Weavile, which, in case you aren't aware, Weavile doesn't really take hits at all, so that's something I have to try to maneuver around. I actually really like Corviknight lead against maybe the Ninetales. I can Brave Bird it down. Probably wouldn't give me too much though. Like I can also go for the knockoff. Oh, this is wonderful. I just got a free knockoff here. I don't think this can, are, are they focus sash? No, they're not. <laughs> they're like choice specs or something. I'm going for the knockoff. And trying to get some momentum right here. I have a good lead scenario. I'm going to try to go for it. It's focus sash. <laughs> Weak armor, speed boost, earth power. Okay, it could have been worse. How fast are you now? Okay, I'm just gonna Ice Shard. You could actually outspeed me if you have good investment. Why are you Focus Sash Weak Armor Cursola, dude? Why is that a thing? No, no. Get out of here. You are not outspeeding me. You can endure four times in a row if you want. I don't even think... Doesn't endure work where, like, it's an odd of happening? It's not, like, guaranteed, right? If you try to go forward multiple times. Uh, let's try to get rid of Light Clay. Would they have Moonblast on this? Okay, they go for a nasty plot. I do get rid of Light Clay. I don't really know what to think. Like, I'm gonna go Corviknight. Moonblast does nothing. I actually risked my Weavile right there, which I'm glad worked out for me, but... Yeah, that was pretty scary. I'll go for Brave Bird here. I think I live Blizzard, so I should be good. 
So what's there said there? Nasty plot, Auroraville, Moonblast. Either freeze dry or blizzard. Probably freeze dry. If I were them, you go for the Veil first here. No, they go for freeze dry immediately, so they're dead, right? Yeah, I don't know why they didn't go for Veil into the... The freeze dry, but I'm not complaining about it. So the thing is, like, you could say I'm in a bad spot versus Drill now, but... I don't even have body press and my hippo is my drill check anyway, so I think I'll be alright. Also, my hippo just spams Earthquake here, something that I did not really recognize immediately. Yeah, I didn't realize that. What is Cursola's max speed? 174, I'm 170. It's actually kind of annoying if they're timid, which I think they probably are. Although they would die to hail, so there's that. Is this like a weakness policy set? Even if it is, it can't win, so let's go for U-turn. As they're able to outspeed me there and go for the fire punch, that's alright. We'll go Keldeo now and just click. I mean, they definitely sack her Sola, but I'll go for Surf. Yep, there's the Cursola sack, makes sense. Now, what's going to happen is they're going to bring out a Drill, I think. You could go Zara, I guess. I don't think it would give you a ton. You go Drill and SD, but I always go Hard Hippo. No, they go Zara, okay, so I go Appleton. I keep this every time. Goes for the knockoff. I think I'll just Apple Acid immediately here. Like, they're not Life Orb, so they're not a super threatening set. Like, they could be Bulk Up. They didn't show lefties either. Is that choice banned? I know it did 20, but like, I'm a physically defensive apple ton. It might be choice banned. What did they do? They went T-Tar. Oh, it was weakness policy the entire time. That's kind of funny. Well, anyway, I'll stay in because I don't want to lose to rock polish yet. I need them in range of ice shard. They're able to kill me with the crunch. This is actually a really scary set. We'll go hippo here in earthquake. But I think I'll probably lose to Zara. Depending on what moves they have. Oh, never mind, that did nothing. If they're grass not, I probably lose, but I needed to use this to kill that right there. There was no other option. At least I don't think there was. Okay, that's like screaming grass not. I'll go Pex. Yeah, they have grass not. I think this probably has the game then. I need to burn it. <laughs> Pex, this is your time. Just burn the Zara and we win. Okay. <laughs> I'll try to recover here. Yeah, I, I needed that because they were able to use the Tyranitar to break my fat core of Hippo Appleton. But that was the problem there. They do, they do knock me out, which is kind of good for them. I think my next best play is to go... Weavile Ice Shard isn't bad here. It wouldn't kill though. I think Keldeo is probably just fine. I can just go for Surf. Oh, what if they're DD? No, but then Surf plus Ice Shard would kill a DD set, so I don't have to worry about that. They can still win, I think, if they Iron Head flinch my Hippo once, and then Earthquake after. It should kill me. That's only if they're Life Orb, though. But yeah, I do love this hit, so... I don't know what they're thinking about. I think they might want to preserve it for later, but if you go hard Dragapult here, I'm not going to give you the damage on this because I would lose to Zara coming in after. Yeah, if they go hard Dragapult here, the play is, I think, hard Weavile of my own. This isn't over at all, even with that burn, I think. Which is actually really scary. I don't want to take an L. I think this is probably going to be the last game. And I kind of want to go 6-0 and with the Apple. So ideally we can pull through. But it's looking pretty difficult. They go hard Dragapult. Maybe I should have Icy Winded. But I don't know what they're planning on doing here. I'm going to go hard Weavile. If they Draco, I think that's fine. But I need this for the, the Zara. This beats Zara in the end. I just need this thing gone. That's the main thing here. This is in range of Ice Shard. Another option I could go for is Sack Hippo and then get in Weave out to Ice Shard safely. The problem with that is, let's say they Sack this, then get in Excadrill. I don't kill it, right? That kills me and then... No, but then Keldeo still take beat, wins the game, right? Because it outspeed, it takes the hit from the Zara. If there's Scarf though, I would lose, but there wouldn't be Scarf under Sand, right? So, yeah, the Hippo is the play here. 
If they're DD, then I get the ice shard kill, and I should be fine regardless. But yeah, the plan is I go Hippo, I die, bring out Weavile, Ice Shard, attack Drill, and then win with Keldeo after. What if they sack off Zara, then go Drill, actually? They get the kill, I get the kill with Keldeo, but then I could draw to Specs. No, Hippo stole the play. Okay, they are Specs to Draco. Oh, I, I gave him the Sand again, I didn't even think about that. Uh, I just threw, I just threw so hard. I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> I forgot I would give them sand. Okay, I need them to throw. Actually, wait, they can't throw. I, I just threw the game by going hippo there. I'm so dumb. Well, that's that. Yeah, I can't beat the, the drill plus Zara anymore. Man, that actually sucks. Okay, so what should I have done then? I think I should have just icy waited on the Dragapult coming in, and I would have been fine, but... Yeah, here we are now. Do they time out? I can't believe I just sacked off my hippo and gave them sand. They go hard drill. I don't know why you would do such a thing. I was hoping they would be like a random mold breaker, but there's no way they are. Um, yeah, they just go for earthquake. I can't believe I threw this game, dude. Whatever, we're gonna stop right there. I, that's a point where I have to stop. Like That last turn right there where I sacked hippo was so horrible. But anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed. You can find the team down below in the description. Sorry about that last game. That was probably hard to watch, but it is what it is. I'll see you guys next time. Later.